There is a God in the earth today. His name is the Holy Ghost. We walk with him by saying words. What words? His words. We speak in agreement with his words. And when we do, those things come to pass in our lives. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with Him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrad. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here, then consider becoming a partner with us. If someone were to ask me, where do I begin? That's a good question, isn't it? And I say that because people have asked me this. Well, I would say, well, you should probably start at the beginning, and I have to go, okay, where would I start? Hmm. Let's look at 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 20. Knowing this first. Say first. first. Well, if we're going to start somewhere, this says we need to know this. Say, know this. Know this, know this first. Know this first, that no prophecy of the Scripture is of any private interpretation. You know the Scripture? You're holding it in your hand. Say, this is the Scripture. Is the scripture. Well, no prophecy of it is of any private interpretation, right? right? For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, meaning men didn't make it up, but holy men of God were moved by somebody. Say somebody. somebody. He's a body. He's somebody. Can I get a name in somebody? Right? You know? They were moved by the Holy Ghost. So, all of the scripture, and you've got to know this first. So, if somebody told me and asked me, where would I start? This is where you'd start. You'd have to know this first that no prophecy of this scripture was of any private interpretation but it came by someone and his name is the Holy Ghost would that be good to know yes. holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost so the first thing we can see here is we know who is speaking when we read a verse of scripture it's important now I've been doing this for a long time say a long time I've been preaching I think my first sermon was like 32 years ago so I've been do I've been at this a long time say a long time. a long time might not be long time to some of you but some other ones 32 years well that's pretty long are you here yes. well I've learned a thing or two along the way you understand and if you get well developed in something you can look back to the young pups and say do this differently if I can look back in time at myself and say yo do this differently I would right how many of you would do that you can look back at your life and go ah, I do that differently the same thing preaching the gospel there's a lot of things that I wouldn't have done that I did do say he did, do. he did do right I did do them I wish I didn't do them and I wished I would have thought about things differently you can understand coming from a place of maturity you'd be able to guide someone a little bit differently so they'd end up in a different place that's the point say so they'd end up in a different place because a lot of times they end up in the wrong place because they went in the wrong direct does this make sense so I would do a lot of things say a lot of things a lot of things. a lot of things differently I'm no novice in this I've been at it a long time I live it I was even saying this to Olivia the other day and she lives with me so it's like am I making this stuff up or do I live this she goes no you live it so I've been I've been doing this for a while I I know what works say what works, what works. and what doesn't work and there's a lot of stuff that doesn't work it's a bunch of garbage right so you want to avoid the garbage go avoid the garbage and get the good stuff right well there's over a period of time doing this you can know what's the good stuff how to get the good stuff and avoid all the garbage there's a lot of garbage out there I know I've eaten a lot of it 
so I'm no novice at this I've been through many transformations to get to where I am today does that make sense some of you know some of these things you know a lot of them first Corinthians chapter 13 verse 11 when I was a child Guga I spake as a child it doesn't say Guga I put that in there <laughs> when I was a child I spake as a child I thought as a child but when I became a man I put away childish things I find it curious here he goes I thought as a child I spake as a child right mm -hmm. there are a lot of people are speaking like children and I'm talking spiritually I'm talking in the body of Christ we're talking about people religious people they're speaking like children they shouldn't be doing this right they should grow up beyond that and when you be when you come to a place of maturity you stop talking like that are you here yes you want to say grow up when I was a child I spake as a child I understood as a child I thought as a child but when I became a man I put away the childish things so he specifically lists speaking understanding and thinking so if I grow up I'm gonna speak differently say speak differently, speak differently. I'm gonna understand things differently right and then I'm going to think differently about stuff first John chapter 2 verse 12 I write unto you little children because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake is that bad no it's good but he this is about all the little children could handle their sins were forgiven do you understand you should begin there having your sins forgiven but don't stay there because your sins are forgiven for his name's sake verse 13 I write unto you fathers because you have known him that is from the beginning now is the father a little child no the father is someone who's developed and now he knows him that is from the beginning say him, him. That, is from that is from the beginning so the end goal should not be just to have your sins forgiven and die and go to heaven you understand if you're gonna grow up and mature in this life you're gonna know him that is from the beginning he goes on verse 14 I have written to you fathers because you have known him that is from the beginning he repeats it where should we be going to know him that is from the beginning that should be the result and trajectory and goal of our development mm -hmm. is to know him that's from the beginning well who's from the beginning could you tell me who that is yeah that's what we're gonna be talking about so if I come to you from a place of maturity I'm going to try to guide you into knowing him that is from the beginning it doesn't mean I'm not happy that your sins are forgiven and that you I'm, I'm glad that you've overcome the wicked one but all that pales in comparison to knowing him that's from the beginning are you here if I was to try to know him from the beginning where's the beginning of the Bible is that at the end or is that at the beginning yeah very good very good you graduate Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 in the beginning well if we're gonna know him that's from the beginning right yes. the Bible says in the beginning what God and all we know is that it says God right he created the heaven and the earth meaning the thing you're standing on and the sky and everything else was created in the beginning right doesn't say how much time it took it just said he did it are you here yes. and the earth was became that's really what that means the earth became without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the Spirit of God so the first description that we have of God in the beginning is that he's the Spirit of God or he's the Spirit God that's actually the way it's written the Spirit God moved 
upon the face of the waters are you here yes. so what do we know at the very very beginning if we are to know him that was from the beginning right I'm reading now the same Bible we're supposed to know him that's from the beginning we're supposed to know the Spirit of God <laughs> do we know who the Spirit of God is yes. that's the Holy Ghost and then it goes on and says and God said so now we see we know the Spirit God that and he says things yes. say he's a Spirit God and he says things now what did he say through all of the prophets he said scriptures right we see here in the beginning he's he's like describing all of the earth and creating it you understand then he created man in his image but he also said the scriptures and those scriptures have the same creative power and glory in them as the other things as he created it are you here yes. I'm trying to tell you things I wish I knew when I was first starting out that they didn't tell me who's they I don't know anybody over there <laughs> and over there you hear they didn't tell me this they didn't tell me that the the culmination of where I was going to in my belief was to know him that's from the beginning and if I'm gonna know him I need to know who he is Holy Ghost and I need to know how he works with words so how do you suppose you're gonna walk and know the Holy Ghost you're gonna know him that he's a spirit and that he speaks words you're gonna speak in agreement with him we're we'll getting to all of that know him that's from the beginning I hope you can see that right I'm not making this up who was from the beginning the Spirit of God so if it's saying we're supposed to know him who we supposed to know the Spirit of God right know him know him say know him, know him. say I, I am going, going to know, know him. him that should be the goal to know him you know why because he's got the goods the garbage is all the other stuff he's got the goods he's literally God in the earth today and he will do things for you if you get in line with him so if I had to do this all over again I would learn to know the Spirit of God or the Spirit God who spoke the scriptures and spoke everything else if it's true that God created the heavens and the earth it was him the Spirit God who did it he's now God in the earth today and he spoke all the scriptures are you getting this why wasn't this driven into me at Bible you know and what do they call that in Sunday school this is what they should have beat you with every time you came in mm -hmm. you know without the beating <laughs> so if I had to do it all over again I would learn say I would learn. I would learn I would learn to know the Spirit of God who spoke the scriptures I'm telling you from a place of experience I'm telling you from a place of ministry this is what you need to know because if you know him the one who spoke the scriptures you can have everything's open to you everything opens up second Timothy 316 all scripture is given by inspiration of God meaning God spoke it that word inspiration literally means the breathing out say all scripture, all scripture is, given is given by inspiration, by inspiration. of God now remember that other verse we read who was the one inspiring it the Holy Ghost so all scriptures were given say given, given. they were given who were they given to God he just wanted to write them down it was just like something he wanted to write out no they were given to you all scripture given by inspiration of God the Holy Ghost you understand and is worthless is that what it says no. not profitable all scripture is given given you ever give a gift to somebody you're giving them something it's not nothing it's something and it's profitable so if it the scripture is profitable it means it has value and it will do something say it will do something, will do something. what's it gonna do what's it gonna do 
it's gonna do the thing it said I wish I'd known this I wish somebody told me this that I can know the God who wrote these things who inspired them and that said them and that each one is a gift to me and that that word will actually do what he said it's a gift it will do that thing if it says you will prosper and be in health that's a gift mm -hmm. and it that scripture will do that that's the gift yes. is this any good yes. am I making it up I didn't make it up I had to find this after years and years and years of bumping my head against the wrong garbage mm -hmm. but now I know the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and I walk with him by speaking in agreement with his words and it works I'm telling you all scripture is given by inspiration of God the Holy Ghost and is profitable again I'm talking about where would I begin if I could do it over again even I guess I could be talking to myself although people have asked me this I would learn to be a lover of the word I know the guy who's behind it there is nothing it can't do for you say for me. for me God's not holding anything against you or holding back anything from you if it's in here it's for you he's already given it there's nothing that the word can't do for you in you through you if you learn how to get in agreement with it and speak it there is a glory in every word of God that will bring itself to pass it is a gift what's the gift the thing that it said and it will bring that to pass in your life all right when you speak the Word of God I hope I'm not going too fast for you here I'm talking about learning things from the beginning right we know who spoke the word the Holy Ghost and when I find things in the word it's a gift to me are you here mm -hmm. are there any things in the word I guess we can go there well all the promises of God are yes and amen are there any promises yeah well number one he forgives your sins number two he'll, for, he'll heal all of your sicknesses and diseases say all of them, all of them. then he'll prosper you there's hundreds of prosperity scriptures say God will prosper me God will prosper me. what God the one we've been talking about the one who said that when you speak the Word of God the Holy Ghost you enter into it it enters into you it changes you into it so we walk with God the Holy Ghost by saying words learn the ins and outs of being a lover of the spoken word it takes time say so it, it takes time it takes effort but this is what you want to do if you can hear what I'm saying you can have it it's right there knocking at your door what are you saved unto just dying and going to heaven that shouldn't be the message of the Jesus never even said that to people said if you believe on me you'll die and go to heaven his whole point was believe on me and I will send another one John the Baptist said this one this one coming pointing to Jesus said he'll baptize you into the Holy Ghost what was the end result of Jesus's ministry was you walking with the Holy Ghost in the earth and then when you're done yes you die and go to heaven but that's not the goal if the goal is to die and go to heaven get it over already you understand that's not the point sure you receive forgiveness of sins but then you need to receive the one that Jesus sent and learn how to walk with him in the earth by saying words are you here yes. all right what are you saved unto you should be saved unto a relationship with the Holy Ghost so we believe on Jesus let me ask you a question what don't you already believe on Jesus you know he came right we believe he came we believe that he died for our sins 
say this he died for my sins right we believe that almost everybody believes that then he was raised from the dead for our justification and then he went and sat down at the right hand of the father we believe all of this stuff I be I'm still believing it and then we believe he sent the Holy Ghost into the earth where are we right now in the earth with the Holy Ghost that's what we believe we believe on Jesus that he did all of those things and then he sent the Holy Ghost now our job is to receive the one that he sent say my job, my job. is to receive, to receive the one that he sent who's the one that Jesus sent the Holy Ghost he's the one with whom we have to do he's the one that we get to know who's been from the beginning he's the one that if we search the scriptures dig him out he's the one that's in there looking right back at you he's the one we walk with in the earth today Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Holy Ghost you preach on the Holy Ghost too much you don't preach on them enough you just want your whole congregation to die and go to heaven and you don't like them that much maybe maybe that's what it is so do you believe on Jesus just get things straight do you believe that he died for your sins yes. say this I believe, I believe that Jesus, that Jesus died, died for my sins, for my sins. right yes. say I believe, I believe Jesus, Jesus was raised from the dead Say, I believe, I believe that Jesus, Jesus sent the Holy Ghost. If you believe on Jesus, He, the Holy, if you, that's what you're believing on Him, right? He, the Holy Ghost, will come to you. He's looking for that, and then He comes to you. John 16, 7. This is Jesus speaking, it's in red letters. It is expedient for you or profitable for you that I go away. If I go not away, the Comforter or the Holy Ghost will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. Who did Jesus say wouldn't come unless he departs? The Holy Ghost. So Jesus had to pay for your sins and be raised from the dead before the Holy Ghost would come. Who are we supposed to receive? The Holy Ghost. Does that please Jesus? Yes. yes, because he's the one he's expecting us to receive. Now, yes, you receive the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues. That's the initial evidence. Acts chapter 2, verse 4. But also we receive him, say him, yes. in many other ways because he's the one who does everything in the earth many or most start with the end goal of simply dying and going to heaven it's not the right goal what's the right goal now this is what I'm telling I'm telling you where would I start if you want to start a journey you should start with the right goal this is the right goal knowing the Holy Ghost I hope I've shown you that right mm -hmm. dying and going to heaven is not even a goal that's a dead goal mm -hmm. that's not a living goal that's a dead goal you can just give up and die and go to heaven mm -hmm. becoming a temple of the Holy Ghost the one Jesus sent knowing him walking with him as God in the earth today that's the right goal I wish that I was told this I was not told this and I wish I was told it over and over so that, that it would get into me but they didn't tell me this this is a new way of thinking this is a new way of speaking this is a new way of believing first Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 what know you not that your body is say is, is is means present tense is the temple of the Holy Ghost who's the one from the beginning you understand who wrote the scriptures who is of the temple of the Holy Ghost who is in you which you have of God and you are not your own for you're bought with a price therefore 
glorify God the Holy Ghost in your body and in your spirit which are God's that's the mark that's the goal knowing him worshiping him what should a temple do it says you're a temple of God what should a temple be for the worship of the God that's in the temple well if I want to be a Holy Ghost worshiper you need to worship God <laughs> use the words I worship you Holy Ghost use those words if they knew me as God they would worship me if they would worship me they would know me as God people need to take that step all of these things that I've been showing you that the Holy Ghost is God right yes. if you begin to worship him as God you will begin to know him as God he will reveal himself to you hear what I'm saying I wish I had known this 32 years ago if you use the words I worship you Holy Ghost he'll begin doing things for you there's glory in knowing the Holy Ghost say there's glory, there's glory. in knowing the Holy Ghost. the Holy Ghost things I wish I knew if you burrow down into any word you will eventually see the Holy Ghost looking back at you like a mirror in 2nd Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 now the Lord is that spirit and where the Spirit of the Lord is there is liberty verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image same image is what the glory of the Lord that we're beholding if I behold a healing verse of Scripture I'm staring at it I'm saying it over and over eventually I'm going to see the glory that's in that and it's going to change me into it I'm telling you I have done this over and over and over in every situation of life I've taken a verse of Scripture and I've said it say he said it until the glory came out of that thing and got a hold of me and changed me and changed the situation I wish I'd have known this we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord are you getting this there is a God in the earth today his name is the Holy Ghost we walk with him by saying words what words his words we speak in agreement with his word and when we do those things come to pass in our lives let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that these people are blessed and they've heard many of these words this evening says the Spirit of the Lord and great things will begin to change in their life as they yield to me and know that I am moving on them so don't be afraid don't be too shy but step forth and begin to move and speak and say the things that I'm directing you to say we thank you for it Holy Ghost in Jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I thank you I thank that you. I am blessed and increase is moving in my direction right now I have more than enough and the angels are bringing things to pass in my life right now in Jesus name amen